Welcome to your 2023 wild card game. Como Blitzball, we have the Crushers, the former not very good last year's. We have the Redbirds, the former World Series champions. Playoff Blitzball, we are in the wild card. Welcome to it, Caden Sartain. You only have one win on the regular season. What's going to be different here in the postseason? We're going to be different today, just know that. I'm, I can't explain why, but you'll know why later. Now I'm going to be sitting across from my grandkid. I'm going to tell him about the greatest playoff run of all time. We're going to shock the world, 2023 Crushers. You've kept it close in every game this season, so you you got to think that's going to be the case here, right? I'm, I'm going to be honest, the Crushers have no place. They have no, they have no place in the wild card. The Phoenix should be here. Literally, the only reason why the Crushers have a win is because Fire had an injury in the middle of the game. You guys do not deserve to be here, and we're going to show why tonight. There's just no competition. I'm be honest. Wild card drama. Here's the video. Hey, this is about to be the greatest playoff run that Como Blitzball's ever seen. No, it starts right here. No one yeah. believes in us. No. Crushers are the worst team in the league. I'm be honest. They made the playoffs off of who knows what. Lucky them. Everything that happened this year does not matter. Nope. We're coming different That's today. Right. Yep. Believe on three. Believe. One, two, three. Believe. believe. Throw strikes right down the middle to every single human on that team other than Caden. Be careful, Caden. Everyone else right down the pipe. No one believes in us. God did. They don't know what's about to hit them. Caden Sartain, leadoff batter. Your first pitch of the wild card game is low. Jake needs to find the strike zone in a 5-1 count. The delivery is outside, and Caden is on first to start this game. We're good. We'll take a walk. Right down the middle, everybody else. I'm assuming you're not ready to lose. Caden Sartain has made a change here, and he's going to bet Connor Toma in the two hole. Swing and a miss. Two strikes. Connor Toma. Doe, he takes one in the zone for strike three. Jake will get his first out of the inning. Next up to the plate, Jackson Hitless Kespel. He's the worst. <laughs> Sorry, Jackson. Interesting. They switch out the lineup today. What's the thought process in the lineup, Caden? Don't worry about it. I'll talk to you after the game. Looking to get some hits here in this wild card. The first pitch to him from Jake Short. Oh! It's ripped to the right! Going! Going! Gone! Jackson Kespel! Let's go, baby! Starts this game off how you want to! You can't make it up! Jackson Kespel! He said hitless who? Not me! Jackson Kespel! Just makes it a little more entertaining. Didn't hit a ball all season. Shows up tonight and puts one over the fence. Hey, everyone get in, everyone get in. Let's go, baby. They taking, taking the squad pick right now. Is that your B-Real dog? Are you kidding me? Hey, hey, oh, smile for the camera, Jake. <laughs> He's taking, he just <laughs> took a B-Real. He just took. Dude, that's, okay, that was cool. That was cool. That's tough. Honestly, props. I mean, if we don't score two runs, we deserve to lose, so. Mm. Next into the plate is Austin Stewart. Two strikes. Oh, he swings through it at 79. That's just a good spot from Jake, if we're being honest. That's what Jackson was supposed to do. Nothing matters still now. Two balls, one strike, the delivery to Caden. He swings through it. Trying to minimize the damage at two. Here it comes. Swing and miss, 81. Two straight strikes over the speed limit, and he walks to first. By one mile an hour. I don't deserve to be here. We're humble here. No, you don't. But I'm, I'm glad you're admitting that. First pitch to Connor. Strike. Four balls, two strikes. Swung on. Jake parked. Got it. Caught it for the third out. The Redbirds want their turn to hit. All right, let's go score. I'm trying to hit, dude. Here you go, Jackson. Start us off. Looks as if Jackson Kespel will be the starting pitcher for the Crushers in the wild card game. All three of you can hit all everyone they have. So. First up to the plate for the Redbirds, Chandler pitched around Sartain. Hey, you gave us the lead? Hey, just attack Chandler. Hey, we'll just switch up. You, you can attack him. He, hey, we'll let him we'll let him try to hit it. He won't. Now, we had one Sartain brother up in the first inning. We got the next Sartain brother up in this inning. The first pitch. And Chandler walks on six pitches. That was not that was not by design. All those pitches were competitive. I just laid off. Aiden rolled out of bed to step in the box here. Curveball gets to the top corner for strike one. Two sliders in a row. Fighting with a two strike count. Slider again gets the zone at 73. Slider, how you doing? Where you been? Strike three. <laughs> Honestly, just locating with that slider. One out now. Luke Bradley up to the plate. All right, so we got a guy in a do rag on the Redbirds. We got a guy in a pink hat on the Redbirds. We got a guy in pajamas on the Redbirds. 
Am I normal? Yeah, you're, you're pretty normal. First pitch to Luke. Gets a piece to Caden and it goes below Caden's hands. Oh yeah, you, you're, you're a dog. On his way to first is Luke rounding for third is Taylor. The ball to Stewie and he stays at third. Luke makes his way to second. Out ball, Luke, let's go. And there's two runners in scoring position for none other than Jake Short. Hey Caden, nice hands. You're good, that's on me. I'll, I'll, I'll go play catcher. Jake Short, the first pitch to him. Slider, outside pipe, got it, strike one. And there he goes. He saw three strikes and that's all he did. He just saw him, he wasn't swinging. Here comes decision time from the Crushers. Do they put Chandler on first base? I don't want to pitch to him here. Oh, I feel like they might walk me. There's a base open. Doesn't appear the Crushers are wanting any part of Chandler. Chandler expands the zone for strike one. Two runners in scoring position, slider. It's a good pitch, Jackson. Two seam, he hits it softly fielded and no play will be made. Jake comes in to score. Let it go, let it go, let it go, let it go. You're good. Okay, got one. Got not what I wanted, but. Chandler puts a ball in play, makes something happen. Jake finds his way to the plate. Everybody's safe. When it comes to strategy, Caden has no idea what he's doing. His players are running around the field like it's an open zoo. Caden! <laughs> run, 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 run! Pops it up in the air! It is! Caden drops it! Chandler, gonna learn from his mistake last time and stop at third base. Oh boy, Aiden, let's go! <laughs> Aiden rips one into right. Caden had no idea what was going on, if we're being honest. He was just trying to find the ball, couldn't. Aiden's on first, another run comes in, and Chandler is on third. It's tough out there. What's Caden doing? We got ourselves a game. Luke steps up to the plate. Slider, he was watching for it and didn't swing at it. Strike one. But like, no, like if you strike him out, that's sick, but Jake is up next. Did they just call Jake an auto out? Full count pitch to Luke, trying to keep the inning alive. Nice. Swing and a miss. The Crushers keep this game tied at two. Hey, Jackson, that one's on me, good pitching. Hey, we got our two runs. We're great. And we've got ourselves a wild card game. Last time I faced me, there was this drop ball and it cooked me up. Now, we have the first delivery to Jackson. He's gonna leave that one away. Hey, they never would've thought I'll get two in a row. Jackson fighting in this AB. Swung on one outside, 78 miles an hour. Bang! Man, Luke's so good. When I grow up, I want to be like Luke Bradley. Dayton Toma, his first appearance in this game. Now this right here is a veteran matchup. Luke Bradley, is that a strike? Got the bottom for a strike. Now we have ourselves a full count pitch. Luke to Dayton. Sees it on the outside pipe. He absolutely pipes it up. Gets a piece of one to the left side. It's tailing Aiden under there. Oh, he bakes the catch. He knows how to catch a fly ball. He knows how to catch a fly ball. That is not as easy as y'all might think. In the lights and it was spinning and Aiden makes the catch. Stewie as the relief in the second inning. The vibes here today are just, just good. I think we're gonna take a, take a win. Jake this entire season has always been giving up the big home run, striking out in key situations. Let's see if he can do something here tonight. <laughs> hey, how about maybe instead of like saying I haven't got a hit in 84 days or like say, hey, Jake hasn't got a hit in a long time and he hasn't had a home run since his first year, but this he looks like he's ready to hit a home run today. Two pitches and two strikes. Stewie says good morning, good afternoon, and good night to Jake Short. Good night! <laughs> Three pitches. Three pitches. Redbirds fans, on behalf of myself and my physical abilities, I'm sorry. Stewie has four pitches and four strikes, by the way. Five pitches and five strikes. It's grounded over to Dayton. He's got to make the play. Oh, my gosh. What a play from Dayton. So routine, except it really wasn't, but he just made it seem like it. That's big time. That's big time. You know, honestly, in the pajama pants, you just you got to take what you can sometimes. And speaking of taking what you can, a strike down the middle. Stewie makes me so jealous. I have knuckle dropping throws. Now we have a strike on Aiden. The next pitch, oh, he gets a piece of one to the left side. It's going to be foul. We're going to do it again. Stewie delivering a high percentage of strikes so far. We've got two on Aiden. A little hesitation, a little shimmy. Good night. Ew! Ew! On the inside pipe after the shimmy. All right, tie ball game, heading to the top three. 
steps up in front of Jake Short, who delivers the first pitch. That's going to be a strike on the outside corner. Four balls, two strikes. Connor protecting. Does not do that that time. Strike three on the inside pitch. Correct me if I'm wrong. They're only in this game because the Phoenix had one pitcher, right? Jackson, who has been all over anything in the zone. So Jake delivers, and he gets a piece again. You don't want to give anything too nice to Jackson, and he catches it with his body and finds himself on first base. Stewie now has to protect here. Off speed, gets him on three pitches. What a sequence from Jacob. Uh, uh, uh. Oh my gosh, he whips out an off speed that we haven't. I mean, Stewie's literally just getting diced up up there. Oh, hits him twice in a row. He's on first. That was intentional and over the speed limit. <laughs> Connor rolls it. That's a fair ball. Aiden Fields tags the bag, and the Redbirds get out of the inning unscathed. Let's score. All right, Caden in to face the Redbirds in a playoff game. That sounds familiar. And first pitch is a ball high. And now that he knows it is, he sees the next one and swings at it up the middle. He's not going to lay his body on the line. It's going to get through into the outfield, and Luke Bradley has himself a single off Caden. Caden stays in the game, throws a strike down the middle. Oh, tips the top of the zone. Oh, he goes with the quick pitch. Oh, oh poor Jake. P.O. And he waves goodbye, even though Jake couldn't hit water if he jumped out of a boat. Caden, <laughs> two seam inside at 79. That's nice. Hits him again. Another hit by pitch. Chandler on first after all the above. One strike on Aiden. Curveball gets the bottom corner. Oh! 123! At 123. 123? Caden, more dialed in than I've seen him in a long time on the mound. The curveball gets the top of the zone. Lands two off-speed pitches in the same at-bat, and Aiden strikes out. I'm here, I'm here with Jake Short, and this is probably the farthest he's ever been on base before. Um. <laughs> Honestly, at this point, Caden's probably just thankful he hasn't caught too much of the plate because if he does, and he, I mean, he's still just, he's getting corners. Ball six to Luke Bradley, and the bases will be loaded. I don't think I've ever been intentionally walked in my life. <laughs> Two outs, Jake Short up to the plate, bases loaded. I'll tell you what, I watched bench warmers last night and I'm getting the same vibes from Jake Short here after strike one. <laughs> Swing and miss! I say he gets the job done, but is the job finished? No, job not finished. Job not job finished. finished. All right, we head to the last scheduled inning of this ball game, tied at two. Hey, they're gonna let up a walk off anyway, so. This is the most trash talk I've ever seen Chandler be in a blissful game. I mean, the trash talk can and will go both ways as we've seen in this game, a 2-2 matchup. The pitch to Jackson swings through it. Here in the final inning of regular play, and the, that is a strike out number one, and Dayton Toma will be up to the plate now. Two strikes on Dayton. Takes one down the middle for strike three. Luke gets it done. Has one more to go through though, and Caden Sartain. Sorry, Caden, I apologize but we're literally going to hit you twice and you're going to be on first. Sorry. wonder if they'll pitch to me. If they don't, then Connor will be up to bat and hit. And this is a big at bat. Both teams know it too. Ball behind. Dude, is he aiming for, is he aiming for me? Not working so far though. No strikes to show for it, but the next is also inside. Luke just turned around and said, I can't hit him. He's aiming at me. He's aiming at me. If you're at home watching, this is probably going to hit Caden. Yeah, it did. It did. You're welcome, guys. Leave a like for that. Honestly, I'm not really that sorry. They did the same thing to me. Hey, Connor, this is your moment, baby. Connor Toma up to the plate. This one might actually hit the strike zone. It duh! Oh. Connor! It's a ride! And he... Oh, it's... It's short! It's short! It's possible, Caden. You can catch a fly ball. It's possible. Hey, good cut. One run and we win. That's it. Chandler. Chandler, I'm, I'm, I'm not, like... I'm just checking... Check this field on that just in case. Because I don't know what it was. It's fair to check. What are you checking? The speed, just in case. 81, 81, redo pitch. So just a straight up redo. Luke goes over the speed limit on that out. So we do it over. You, you see that call out? You see that call out? It, it did look fast, which is why I just had to check. 
Two down, two strikes. And Connor takes the walk, extending the inning to Jackson Kespel. Wild card game, two outs, two strikes, two on. Inside, bases are gonna be loaded. All right, Jake, Jake, any base, any base. Dane's been in these moments before. This is a big at bat, bases loaded. Three balls, no strikes. Bases loaded for Dayton. Oh, Dane rips it! Jake bobbles! Dayton scores! Connor stays! Dayton gives the Crushers the lead in the playoffs! They got themselves a run on a hit from Dayton when they needed it most. Dayton comes through. You can't make it up. Veteran in the league drives in the leading run in the final inning of regulation in the wild card game. Sometimes the story writes itself. We got we got to score a run anyway in the fourth. And not only does that give the Crushers a lead, it gives Caden another chance at the plate, and there's nowhere to put him. Caden's up, dang it. You're just gonna have to make good pitches. It's Caden, so. Hey, we don't, we don't deserve to be here, though. We don't deserve to be here. The Crushers are now up by a run. Two outs with the bases loaded. None other in Caden. Oh! Oh! You can't make it up! You cannot make it up! Oh my goodness! Caden Sarte! Make it up, he sleep. He says they sleep it. What a turn of events in our ball game tonight. <laughs> Are you kidding me? They don't deserve to be here, but Caden shows them why they're wrong. Are you serious? <laughs> it came down to one. We, we threw it 81. We made the catch for the third out. Caden wanted to review it. It came back that was 81, and now they're up five. That's the, that's the greatest radar check of all time. They showed they deserve to be here. Not, not saying we've lost yet, but. Just like that, it's 7-2. <laughs> the zone right down the middle there, and we have a half an inning left of regulation. And honestly, there's been crazier things have happened. Dude, yeah, that's what I'm saying. What happened, dude? What happened? It's, it's, honestly, it's honestly worse to walk him because then they can hit, they can score more runs off home runs, if that makes sense. So just just f fully attack them, yeah. We got who we want, we got what? who we want. That was the craziest call out of all time. And they need five to keep their season alive. Jackson Kespel on the mound. The first pitch of the final half inning of regulation is inside. Three balls to Chandler. Everyone trying to find a way on here. They got to come back. Oh, that's a shot. It's going to cut the lead to four. Cut the lead to four, Chandler Sartain. Hey, we're good, we're good. That, hey, that's exactly what we said before the inning. You know, you can't be mad about it. They, I mean, they still need four more, but you can't be mad. Josh's not done, let's go. Hits a solar shot. This is the guy we want on the mound. They will take it, but the bats have to stay moving. Gotta throw two straight here if he wants to keep Aiden off the base path. Swung at one there. We have ourselves a full count pitch, nobody on, nobody out. Aiden swings through it for strike three. What a story, man. Hey, throw, throw a slider as hard as you can. Two straight strikes from Jackson. The next is another one on the inside corner. You're not hitting that. Nice! Look at that, baby. Dude, that was that was the absolute perfect spot. One spot. You got it, Jake. Oh, you can. And there is one out remaining before the Crushers move on to face the Mustangs. One strike, they're two strikes away from advancing. Oh my gosh, he freezes Jake. And the Redbirds are down to their final strike of the season. The fact that it came down to one mile an hour. On the way to Jake. Crushers trying to advance to the next round. Slows it yes. down! And Let's there go, we man. have it. The Cinderella story continues. The Crushers, a team no one thought had a chance. Group hug, guys. I'm so proud of you guys. Everyone contributed. Hey, we're, we're back. back. We're, we're back. back. I said the playoff run starts now. It starts now. Hey, no one believed us. Now. No one believed us. No. All right, let's go shake their hands. Right, let's go back. shake their hands. Good game. Good game. Good game. Wow. And that's how the season ends. Wow. No words. And I feel like I just am obligated to bring up the pregame where you said they don't deserve to be here. And I just want to know, I just want to know if that thought changed after a good performance. From them. I mean, the, we're, we're a better team than them. Like, we just are. Like, it was literally one mile an hour. We made the catch. That inning was going to be over. That home run I hit would have been the walk-off. But, I mean, things happen. Like, But, like, this is the most fun team I've been a part of. It just sucks the season ends here. And against the Crusher, it just hurts a little more. Kind of a crappy way to go out, but, you know, that's just how just cookie crumbles. There you mm -hmm. go. You had both Jackson and Dayton step up and get massive hits. 
props to them. Well, I think I can speak for myself and a lot of people watching when I say I don't mind a Cinderella underdog story, and that's what we've got here right now. I knew we could beat the Redbirds. I didn't know like that. That was wild. Uh, I literally texted these guys like five days ago game playing for this game already. That's why you saw a lot of different stuff, Dayton. Biggest moment of the season. I mean, the home run doesn't happen without that. I mean, I was just like, I, for some reason, I just felt like Dayton was going to do something. And that was huge. Everyone contributed today. I mean, I'm at a loss of words. I got a test this week. I'm going to a concert, but all I'm going to be thinking about is this win. <laughs> I was around these boys earlier this week, and I said, I'm a Crushers fan. I'm, I'm, I'm a Crushers fan. Now I have to play them. But I like a Cinderella story, and I'm excited for it. See what they can do against your boys. The semifinal matchups are now set. We have the Riptides versus the Steamrollers, which you will see next. And then you have the Mustangs versus the Crushers. Two matchups we've seen this year. They were two great games. We get to see them again. Playoff Blitzball. The matchups are set. Oh, okay. I got my fact of the day. Let's go. Okay. Flamingos uh, bend their legs at the ankle and not the knee. Um, Bet you didn't know that. Huh?